An insider's tour of Harvard's Widener Library, where the top floor looks like this, as well as the famous replica of the study of Harry Widener, whose study is just between these columns. The bottom floor looks like this. It's completely dark until someone walks through it, such as me, as I was looking at magazine articles from 100 years ago, when gaslighting literally meant that you were getting lighting from gas. Here is my tour of my way out of the bottom floor. This library was built about five stories underground, the reason being that their original contract was that they were not allowed to remove one brick from the original building of the library, hence the underground building and the labyrinth that you see before you. Another fun fact is that one of these underground tunnels leads literally to another library where you lose cell service as well as internet service through the tunnel. But don't get too spooked. In case you run out of cell service or Wi-Fi, there are red phones all throughout the bottom floors of Widener Library so that you can't get trapped. You can pick up a phone and it will ring someone on the top floor. Now in this video, I don't go through the underground tunnel to the secret library, but the time that I did, I actually saw someone in the other library who worked there putting away books. And we made eye contact and she asked me what I was doing there. And I said I was just exploring. As you can see from my footage here, as I'm walking through the hallways and looking down some of the aisles of books, people don't really come down here. In fact, I ran into a guy down here one time and I was actually a little bit freaked out, so I left. I typically chose to study here because there was no one else around. Also because there are secret locked doors and it makes me feel like maybe there's a troll or something on the other side, it's a little bit Harry Potter if you ask me. That was my underground tour of Harvard's Widener Library. Bear in mind, that was just on my way to the elevator in a single wing. It's very easy to get lost down there. It's a perfect place if you're like me and you don't want to see anyone else while you're studying. Thanks for coming to my tour.